Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and today we are gonna make three shabby chic ornaments. And for each of the ornaments, we are gonna need some uh, strips of fabric. So this is how I cut my strips of fabric. They're probably around an inch wide, and I just start at the end with my scissors to give me a little starting point, and then I just rip them up. So I'm gonna be using white fabric and some muslin um, colored fabric and you're just going to want to pick uh, pull all of those stringy bits off of your strips before you um, use them it'll just be helpful it'll make the project look much prettier and you'll be happy to have them out of your way so don't skip that step I'm going to use these foam balls that I actually got at Walmart, but I know that you can get them at Hobby Lobby and they probably have them at the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to use those strips of fabric that we tore and I am going to cover the entire foam ball until you can't see any more foam through the fabric. And I'm going to use this same base for all three of the ornaments that we're going to make today. So for our first ornament, I am going to use this beautiful rhinestone cup chain. And you can find rhinestone cup chain at Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy, and I'll put a link to her shop below. And I am just adhering the strands of trim on with hot glue, and I'm making sure to hot glue each end. And I put a little glue down in the middle too, and I just love how this looks, and it's so shiny, and it's so pretty. And the uh, hot glue does hold that chain to the fabric really well, so hot glue is fine for this. Now everything I make I like to add a bow, but I'm a little bit bow making challenged. So when I'm making a bow with fabric or ribbon, I like to break out my Deco Fun Bow Maker and then it makes it so easy for me to make a beautiful shabby bow. And I will link um, where you can get a Deco Fun Bow Maker below if you're interested, but I love it. So I'm just making a bow out of the same fabric that I wrapped around the ornaments. And so you just loop it around, loop it around, and then you just tie it up, and it's that easy. And it's so pretty. Okay, so to finish up this first ornament, I am gonna add a little bling to the bottom to cover up um, all the glue where all of the rhinestone trim meets. Isn't that cute? It's a button, actually, I just cut the shank off of that I got at Hobby Lobby, I do believe. And so now I am gonna add the hanger to the top that I made out of the um, fat strips of fabric. And now we're gonna add the adorable bow that we created with a little more hot glue. And then we are gonna add a piece of bling to the bow because I love to put a little bling in my bow, but like also a button would be cute and actually it's cute with nothing at all. I mean, it's just adorable. But I'm gonna use this really pretty pearl and rhinestone bling and you can also find a good variety of bling at Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy. So there is our first ornament, so cute. Okay, for our second ornament, we're gonna use another foam ball that is covered in the strips of fabric. And then I am just gonna gather um, a piece of lace around the whole ball, and I'm gonna secure it in place with a rubber band. I love to use a rubber band, because then the rubber band can hold everything in place while I pull pieces of lace through to kind of flatten out the ball and all the creases, you know, where I want them and all the things, so a rubber band works beautiful for that. So for this bow, I want to make it out of tulle. And when I make a tulle bow, I like to use my little 
my small Bodabra that I believe I got at Walmart. Now I'm using this really pretty tool that I got from Hobby Lobby that has little crystals in it. It's so cute. So for me, this little um, Bodabra works best when I'm making um, tool bows and if I can find a link to one, I will put it below. So to finish this one off, I am just going to um, cut down the extra lace on top and then I'm going to spread that open inside uh, the rubber band and I'm going to adhere a little strip of fabric for the hanger down inside there on the foam ball and then gather that lace back up around it. And now it's time to add our pretty tool bow, which I think is so cute. Oh, before that though, got to have myself. Let's cover up that rubber band with a strip of the fabric. So I'm just gonna tie it around the rubber band so you can't see it anymore. And then I will glue the bow right on top of that knot so that you won't see that either. That's adorable already. So we're gonna get that um, bow on there. And then of course I made another fabric bow um, to put on top of the tool bow because I just think the more bows, the more better super cute so here's another one here's one of those fabric bows and we'll put that right there and of course we are going to add an adorable piece of bling because all the things need bling don't they For our third ornament, I am actually going to use that tool with the crystals on it that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to gather up two pieces of that tool around the fabric covered ball and I'm going to attach that with a rubber band so that I can move things around. Rubber band works great for this. So around the little crystals that are already there, I'm gonna go and ahead and adhere some rhinestones that I have in my stash in different sizes. And I'm just gonna add those on with hot glue. It's so pretty. And now I'm gonna cover up the rubber band with the fabric. And of course, we're gonna add a bow and some bling. And they just turned out so super cute. I just, I love them. I hope that you, you love them too and that you will give them a try. They're really easy and fun to make. And I will put a link to uh, Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy below. And if I can find where to get the bow makers, I'll also have links to those below. So I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you give them a try. And I'll see everybody on the next one.